Not a site this time, but actually a Discord. Let's dive in. Hello traders and welcome to a new video on Tainoko Lab. This is a not a website, but a Discord channel that provides data matched up with price in pretty cool ways. I came across this from, again, my Gravity Discord. And if you are not in the Gravity Discord, you can click the link in the description below. You can get any of those books or anything that I sell, and it gives you lifetime access to the Gravity Discord. Now, this is not the Gravity Discord, clearly. You know, you can see this is Tainoko Lab. And what this is, is a not just uh, something that provides data, but it provides free and pro data as well. And let's go take a look. Enough introing, more analyzing. What you're looking at here is open interest, long short account ratio. Yes, that is the Binance long short account ratio, funding rate, insurance, fund balance. This is one hour candlesticks. Each period, each movement is a one hour time, and each period here is just one hour of the long short ratio. Now we can see some patterns here. Let's talk about them. Typically, when you see flat sentiment, the trend typically continues. What that means is when price begins to fall, sentiment's just kind of flat. What that means is that likely many longs and shorts, but many, many longs who had already bought up here are likely trapped, which could just cause more fuel for the downtrend. Now, let's say that we don't see flat sentiment and a drop, but we see sentiment just fall off a cliff after price drops. That'd be pretty bullish. We don't see that, though. We then continue to see just flat sentiment telling me that probably as long as sentiment doesn't change, the trend will probably not change. The trend will probably continue. And then we get probably the best signal of this entire thing I'm going to show you before we move on here. Low volatility down move with a lot of increase in long short ratio. Not healthy. This is not good in the slightest for the longs. A lot of people are buying here. Look. And price just continues to fall. I mean, sentiment goes flat a bit. It, it does kind of drop a little bit, not really that much, but it just, price just falls, really falls apart, as you can see here. So, long short account ratio. Typically, we can't get this much data because you only get so many periods from the uh, from the site, you know, here. Uh, not you, but you. But the Discord is going to give us something different which is pretty cool. We also can see trade and liquidation. And this site is, this Discord's in Japanese. I can't control that. I think in the future they will be releasing some English translations or uh, some way of making this English. But I think you can kind of reason what this means. And if you can't, well then, you probably just don't want to use it then. I do have to admit, I don't know what this is, the, the, the board um, that you can see here. Perhaps it's how much trade, um, I think it's, yeah, actually I take that back. I think it's actually telling me how much volume has been traded at specific prices, which is really helpful because what that's gonna tell me is where people are likely trapped. Because what I can see here is that the price of 86.46 on, um, on BitMEX, which is right here, we know that a lot of people had traded at. 86.46 is here. And if price reverses here, that'd be quite interesting because we know that a lot of people had transacted here. So it would make sense for that HVN, high volume node, to become support. Or if price was lower for it to go up and then it becomes resistance and then it continues to go down. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'm glad I guess I figured that out in this video. But let's keep looking at the other beautiful things that this site has to offer. Again, this is not, they're, they're, it's, it's in Japanese. So, you know, I... I could hold up my phone with Google Translate actually and probably do the scan feature and figure it all out, but I have not done that. I'm just trying to do the the tough way of just trying to reason what I guess what I'm looking at here. As you can see here, this gives bands I think that predict where price is going to be and what range price is going to be, but I'm not fully confident on that one. One that I am a lot more confident on is BitMEX open interest. You can see the total open interest for all different kinds of coins. This is a lot of data but it can be very helpful if you really want to pinpoint what people are doing. BitMEX wallet. So what this is going to show us, I have to like turn my head, um, but it's in Japanese. <laughs> what this is going to show us is wallet balances on BitMEX and you can see some correlations here as well. Honestly, any kind of data visualization that looks like this, I'm already very impressed. Very, very, very impressed. And it's, it's really, really cool to look at. I think that that's withdraw with withdrawals, that would make sense, but not fully. And then we have Deribit options. Okay, now we're full Japanese, not not even little, less Japanese here, but this is going to show us um, some options. 
PTC buy versus sell. This is probably the one that's going to be used by, I think, most people the most. That or Binance Futures, the, the data they have there. This is, I have to tilt my head again. This is volume throughout the day, I believe. Is it the day 222? No, throughout the week. So this is uh, market buy versus market sell volume throughout the week. And you can see we have a spike in, is that Bifnex? We have a spike in buying Bifnex there. You know, we had a spike in selling that was across all exchanges. You can see we have all of that selling. And that's occurred when price was here. Um, what other things that look look quite interesting? We had a buy spike here. Interesting. Cool. We have Bitfinex long short data. Oh, wait, I forgot to show the other part. This part's really cool too. This one may be a little bit easier to recognize, the buy sell ratio. And you can see that we began here with a very strong market buy sell ratio and price rose. And then you can see this ratio gets very, very red. Um, on Binance, Bitmex, and on Bitfinex, and that's when price just begins to fall. And it looks like now we're seeing a lot more green coming in. So that's interesting stuff. Bitfinex long short data, we can look at that here. That is a lot of things, wow. Um, this is gonna tell us a lot of information about Bitfinex shorts, longs, all of this. I'm like trying to tilt my head to like read this. <laughs> I must look. If that's the thumbnail, that's gonna be a very interesting thumbnail. But this is interesting stuff, in my opinion. Also, we have the crypto fear greed index, which lower values is going to denote fear and higher values is going to denote greed. So typically, traders like to look for low values to buy and high values to sell. Um, let me see an example. This was at 41 when price was there. Uh, yeah, I don't really use the crypto fear index as much as I used to. Uh, but I think that that can still be used. I think I've covered just about everything there, but open interest. Okay, open interest out of here. USD, U, uh, Tether market cap. Oh, hello, Tether market cap. There's just so much cool data here. You know, I could just be here all day just showing you guys all of the wonders of this data. Really, to, to be honest, I'm probably going to spend all of my time just BTC buy versus sell and Binance futures because the buy sell ratio is really nice. And Binance futures is just really good data. And this is going to tell me the open value and the open interest of these Binance futures. And then you can also scroll back in time to see what do you predict would have happened. So what I can do with this is I can actually use this for practice. I'm going to scroll randomly. I'm not going to look at what had happened. You know, I kind of already know what had happened, but whatever. Let's look here. So we see open. Uh, we see long short ratio is just about flat. Um, we don't really see much of a change. I'm assuming that this downtrend will probably continue, as you can see here. If I scroll down to see what had happened. Yeah, it does continue. Completely continues. Now, I understand you're probably saying to yourself, well, guess what, dude? You knew that was going to happen because we have just talked about the Bitcoin price and you saw that it dropped. Yeah, but what I talked about before is flat sentiment typically leads to a continuation of the trend because of trapped traders, preventing it from going the other direction. And if I look at something like this and say, hmm, okay, price is here. Do we think it's going to reverse back upward in a type of stop loss hunt? Potentially, because we can see that long short ratio is decreasing, right? Yeah, that long short ratio really is decreasing. So this would signify that this might not be a terrible time to buy. Um, and, you know, price does rise. Why does price rise? Just to clarify that, because the long short ratio was beginning to decrease, which is telling me that traders are beginning to sell. Well, retail traders are beginning to sell, which is a pretty strong sign for me to buy. Now, if we look at the 102 p.m., let's see here, price has really just fallen right back down and sentiment's risen. Can't really see, that's bearish, but I'm gonna see one more candle, one more print of data, and that's the 202. The 202 shows price flat, sentiment's flat, yeah. That would probably suggest to me that price is going to fall. Um, and I think price does fall. Oh, price does absolutely nothing. If anything, it goes up a little bit. But this does look moderately bearish. And we can also see the funding rate and what that has done to price as well. Super cool site. I wanted to keep this video under 10 minutes. That's sometimes hard for me to do. Um, but I think I've succeeded in this video with doing that. I just think this is pretty cool. And if you do too, you can hop on their free Discord and just start using the data. Um, if you want to get the hourly reports, you can. I just muted basically everything because uh, I didn't want to get at everyone and at adhered on Discord. Uh, but looking at Binance Futures data like this, I think can really help expand your edge and also allow you to pinpoint um, cause and effect for sentiment. With that, happy trading.